What is symmetry or a line of symmetry? Lines of symmetry. Have we talked about that before? What's it mean to be symmetrical? Pretty much we as human beings are symmetrical. Not completely, but pretty close. What does that mean? More or less what it means, if you fold something in half, gets mirror images. And by I mean human beings pretty much are symmetrical. If I drew a stick figure human being, to be symmetrical, I'll try a better head here. To be symmetrical, okay, I can draw a line straight down the middle of this person's body. And one half is the mirror image of the other. In other words, you know, you got one eye on this side, one eye on that side. You know, we are symmetrical. Human beings have one line of symmetry. Now, I could not fold a human being like this. We're not symmetrical horizontally because if you folded that down, things don't match up. But we are symmetrical. Uh, vertically. And when we talk about symmetry, a lot of times we talk about shapes. For example, if you have a square, and I asked you how many lines of symmetry, how many lines of symmetry, you would tell me, how many do you think a square has? John? Four, because you can cut a square in half like this and get identical pieces. You can cut a square in half like this and get identical pieces. You can cut a square on its diagonals and get identical pieces. So it does have four lines of symmetry. But you must be careful, though, with that, because if I asked you how many lines of symmetry a rectangle has, How many lines of symmetry do you think a rectangle has? Oh, Cassie? Two. two. Is there more than two? Siddler? Where's the third one? No? Diagonals are not symmetrical on a rectangle? Why not? Don't I get two equal halves? Do I not get two equal halves, Riley? Yeah. I don't? Yeah. Alright, I think you guys kind of got that. Most figures don't get that. Most don't think there are like the symmetry. Here is the deal. You do actually get two identical triangles if you fold a rectangle in half. Okay, but the problem with lines of symmetry is that they have to match up. And when you fold it in half, those two triangles won't match up with each other. They have to be mirror images of it. So there are only two in a rectangle. These are not lines of symmetry. Here is a good question. What about a circle? How many lines of symmetry does a circle have, Sophia? Two. Two. Right here and right here. Any other ones? Zach? Diagonally. Uh, diagonally. Any other ones? Caleb? Diagonally. I did diagonally. Oh, diagonal again. Any other ones? Zach? Oh, cut all the yeah. How many so how many lines of symmetry does a circle have? We call that infinite. You can't draw all of them because there's still more. You could keep cutting all those in half and in half and in half and in half and in half again. What about this? What about an equilateral? Oh, that one's not equilateral. 
Okay, let me, let me actually get the shape. Why I don't use these little lines. I should. Where's it look like the lab? Close enough. How many lines of symmetry would this bad boy have? How many lines of symmetry are there? Autumn? One. Where? Up and down. I agree, there is one up and down. Any more than that? No, if it's an equilateral one, actually, this is a line of symmetry, as is this. Equilateral triangles have three lines of symmetry. If it was just an isosceles triangle that only had two equal sides, then it only has the one down the middle. But if it's equilateral, you can spin that and turn it and have that all sorts of ways. Oh boy, then we do have to talk about that. And then under symmetry, we have a special type of symmetry that's called rotational symmetry. And by rotational, what they mean is if you spin the shape, comma, <coughs> if you spin the shape, um, God bless you. If you spin the shape, can you get an identical shape before a full turn? We are going to have to demonstrate this because. Well, let's do the triangle. Here's the deal. Let's say I've got. Let's say I've got this triangle here. I am going to copy it. I hope. Just there. On top of each other. Rotational symmetry means this. I'm going to spin the shape. If I get another triangle that looks just like this, pointed in the same direction and everything, before I spin it once, it does. If it doesn't, then it don't. How about that? Or whatever's there. So I go and I spin it. Alright, are those, are those same triangle? No. I go halfway, that same triangle? No, because this one's pointing down, that one's pointing up. I go here? No. I go all the way up? No. This triangle does not does not have rotational symmetry. Look at the change colors on the house. But what if I had this triangle? And I gotta make sure I get this as close as possible. And then I can only do so much here. If you look at this triangle here, and I spin it right here, only a third of a turn, and it ended up being the same triangle. So that does have rotational symmetry. It matches up there. It matches up here. Even though I'm spinning it kind of in whatever goofy way it is. I want to turn. Turn. It skips that space. So that one does. Um, and then the book asks you questions like this. How about this? Um, the letter M. If you draw the letter M. Does that have regular symmetry? Can you draw a line that would split it in half, give you a piece of that half? Yes. You can cut it right here down the middle, right? Does the letter M have rotational symmetry? If you take that letter M, do you get the letter M before you make a whole turn? Oh, look. Oh, the letter E. Oh, the letter W. Oh, the epsilon sign or whatever that thing is. The number three. And then back. No. This does not, the letter M does not have rotational symmetry, but it does have that line of symmetry of regular symmetry. What about the letter A? I guess I gotta do this one more thing. 
Does the letter A have a normal line of symmetry? Yeah, right down the middle, right? Rotational symmetry, yes or no? Will you get a letter A before you spin it all the way around? Apparently it doesn't like to spin. Oh, there it is. You get a V with a line through it. So no. How about the letter H? Let's do big fat H. Big H. How many lines of regular symmetry does the letter H have? Aaron? Two. Two. You'd have one going vertically, one going around. And what about rotational symmetry? Does it have rotational symmetry? If you spin it, will you get an H before you make one little turn there, Zach Rod? Yes. Yeah, you only have to go half a turn. Then you'll get an H again. Okay. Cheers. All right, I can fit. Plenty of